behind the trachea. Um, uh, this is nicely separated right here. Can you see the oh, esophagus? Yes, and notice how the esophagus is collapsible as opposed to the trachea, which is not because it has those cartilage rings. So the esophagus comes here and it goes all the way down behind the heart. It continues. This is the descending or thoracic aorta. And this tube right here, Maria, you can't possibly see that. Can you see that right there? There's the esophagus. It continues from over here. You can, you know, trace it back all the way back. And then here, clean, let's clean this out a little bit better, is the uh, esophagus. And then it pierces over here through the diaphragm. And it continues right here as the stomach. So here's our J-shaped stomach. The stomach then narrows. And you can even see the little pyloric sphincter here where it kind of pinches right there. And then it becomes the duodenum. Can you see the C-shape? of the duodenum or duodenum, okay? And then up here at the top of the esophagus, right where the diaphragm is, is the uh, cardios, the cardiac sphincter or uh, lower esophageal sphincter, or it's also called the gastroesophageal sphincter, any one of those three, okay? And then we have, um, oh, you know what? I didn't make you guys do the ducks. That, that's wrong on that list. Uh, um, I, I used to make my students find the ducks, uh, the left and right hepatic ducts and cystic ducts. For future, if you ever so want to do it, here's the gallbladder. Can everybody see the gallbladder, this green store in the green? The green. If you look between there and you can see it uh, coming in here to the a small intestine, that's where we're going to find the cystic duct and hepatic ducts, but we don't do them. I forgot about so that. So left and right, hepatic, yeah. we don't need to know.